Ladies and gentlemen, here we go. And we move to the men's super heavyweight division on the left arm for the next match here at East versus West 12. Brought to you by ESN and the Beard Struggle with Gold Star Coffee. Ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome our athletes now, making their way to the table. Firstly, starting with this man. He is a rising star of the super heavyweight division hailing from and representing Sweden. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Beers Sparrow! Ladies and gentlemen, don't let the baby face for you. This young man is an absolute beast. Representing Sweden, Tobias Sporong is an absolute beast animal in the left-handed division we're talking about poise balance what an explosive arm wrestler here in istanbul what a pleasure it is to be on the call this is what heavyweight left-handed arm wrestling is all about what a great matchup we have in store raw power versus precision accuracy Ladies and gentlemen, his opponent now making his way to the table, hails from and is representing Poland. This man is a multiple Polish national champion and is also the reigning Arm Wars champion of the world. Making his debut on the left arm here at East versus West. Please give a round of applause for the golden dragon, Kamil Jablonski. Camille Jablonski, what an absolute freight train. This gentleman here, ladies, could be the best left-handed super heavyweight in the world. Still making his rise, still has a lot to prove. But at 37 years old, this young man has arrived. Watch for how aggressive in nature, how committed to the inside press someone can actually be. You add all that up and standing there at the end is Camille Jablonski. We've heard the rumors, we have saw the video of his destruction of Devin Laird and I've been in the arena left-handed with Devin Laird regardless of the circumstances, no easy task. We are witnessing right here. Is this young man, does he have what it takes to compete at this stage, at this level against the very best in the world? I'm convinced that Camille is that guy. Tobias Sporlong there representing in the red shirt on your left. Look for the grip, trying to stop Camille. Camille's all about that inside press here. You're gonna see how reckless someone can be. If the hand and wrist positioning are positive, then you're gonna see a really tough task. Tobias could be in big trouble here. As you can see the craftiness, there's no doubt that Sporong, this is not his first rodeo here. Had some problems there with Prudnik in the setup. And you can see he's going to get higher than Camille. Camille, not really, he's looking for a lane. Sometimes the height can be an advantage. He's not blink. His first start will tell us so much now. Explosive drive from all oh, over foul. Jablonski got pulled for the jump start. 
I don't believe that will be a win at the moment. It's gone up on the board as 1 0 to be as wrong. There you go, correcting on the blue shirt. It's the Golden Dragon of Poland, Kamil Jablonski. His opponent, Tobias Sparong, real rising star of it's Swedish professional arm wrestling. East yeah, versus West 12, defense. brought to you by ESN. Are you ready? Yeah. So explosive, both these men, real visceral arm wrestlers. No, 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 that's... Tobias had a great spot in that first start. Big drive, massive hit. We're going to go into the strap match. And change the game immeasurably. A completely <laughs> polar opposite approach to the sport from these athletes in that first start. The Golden Dragon in the blue shirt, all about that forward momentum. The press is the spiritual home of Jablonski. In the red shirt. Come on from Sweden, Tobias Wrong. Looking for that top row. Both these guys equally explosive there. Very little to tell from that first start. Tobias Sprong said we're going to see much more from him tonight. He's got more weapons in his arsenal than just the big booming top row. Well, that's his go-to move and he really utilized it there in that first start looking for the fast reversal to get himself out of danger doesn't want to be underneath the giant in the blue shirt Camille Jablonski super important to get that position correct there and the timing is essential now for the Swede the strap is going to make a huge amount of difference to the amount of pressure that can be applied by both men. But critically, the side pressure will be really evident now if Jablonski can land in there with the shoulder. And away we go! Massive drive and it's Camille! The golden dragon Jablonski with the win! And he closed down the light. As Tobias Sparong looked for that reversing top roll, I'm sure we'll see it on the replay in a moment, but there was just nowhere to go. Such a huge man, Jablonski, and he literally crushed down and shut down the light there, straight to the pad. Ominous, ominous signs early for Tobias Sparong because that man in the blue shirt, Camille, the Golden Dragon, Jablonski, is looking unstoppable. Look at this on the replay, Travis. Super suffocating there, right? Everywhere you turn, it's just pressure inside, taking over the middle of the table, a relentless pursuit to the table, to the pin pad. Listen, this guy right here, you're gonna have to stand up to this guy, get him outside of his shoulder before the match starts. If not, listen, I don't know if this is a fish grip opponent. This guy right here, if you're not careful, oh, okay. you will start at the pin pad. This guy could be the real deal, Neil Pickup. I said it before the start here. Yes, Is this did. guy the super heavyweight champ in the world in the making? We or... talked about it today, and you called it. You said you loved this guy's proposition. You said you loved how he arm wrestled, and you fancied him for the win tonight. And right now... Mystic Travis, the prophecy is coming true because he shut down the light, mate. Here we go. The funny thing is, is that when you're trying to take over and you need that lane for that side pressure, it can be taken away and not only taken away, but you can look like you don't have any answers. That's what happens to most of the aggressive pushers in the end. This guy right here, he just has so much confidence in the move right now. I'm not sure he's going to know when he's not supposed to do it. And sometimes just pure aggressiveness can be the deciding factor, Neil. Ordinarily, to be a strong is the faster man up there. Sprong is blisteringly quick and he's moved his position on the pad a great deal there, Camille, now. And that could be good news outside of the strap for Tobias. But as soon as that strap is applied, there is a different world of side pressure coming. And that's what Tobias needs to be aware of. He needs to try to do damage outside of the strap when he's got a little bit of room to move. Oh, and move he does.
Rose. Whoa! Reckoner. Absolute leveling blow. Tobias Perron with unbelievable speed. The score is 1 1. Look at that on the replay. If we can get a slow mo efficient enough. What about that for And you saw the move wasn't back. The move was towards the shoulder. Once the hand reaches outside, there's no pressure anymore. Listen, that is an absolute great job. Having success pre-strap has forced. Listen, he understands the difference in and out of the strap. That was an amazing job taking advantage of that. Now, from what I in the past, it's really hard to keep people out of the strap as the match goes on, especially when one thinks he can win if he can accomplish that. We'll see about the rules. We'll see the posture. Can he really, really put a lot of pressure in the front? Because there's a place where that press is still active out of the strap if you fall underneath of it too much. That was perfect round two. Round three is interesting. Out of the strap, there's no doubt that there's a clear favorite. And then if you resort back to round one, you know that the straps could make a total different outcome here. What a match here. Great job by Ingen Terzi and the East First West staff. All these men have shown that they have the ability to win this match and to win convincingly if they can get the style. If they can land where they need to. Sporong. Sweden, that's the man in the red shirt. Only a young man needs to try to do what he can outside of the strap to take away that. Whoa, 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 whoa. That looked like a jump start, was a jump start. One warning on the Golden Dragon. And I would expect him to sort of play that card as much as he possibly can. Because if you. Such a <laughs> delicate, <laughs> such a delicate position here. Yeah. This is a really tough because, listen. You need a little connection sideways towards that shoulder to really stay out of the strap. However, if you're not careful, there's too much perfect purchase there and Camille's got to hold. Listen, any kind of connection, you have to know that left shoulder is coming behind as ferocious as you one can bring it. Yeah, it would be a good idea for Tobias to do as much work as he can without the strap. The strap will change things immeasurably Camille Jablonski a lot more opportunity to fire that side pressure in and drop that gigantic shoulder that's the man in the blue shirt Camille Jablonski watch for that blistering speed from Tobias Sparong if a look to transition quickly big booming back pressure then jump on top of the hand of the Golden Dragon needs to turn him palm up get him outside the shoulder first in will win here we go Ooh, living dangerously now. Camille, one foul, one warning. Excuse me, one foul. He got a he got a warning on the first start, didn't he? So, still alive, alive, all, but not happy. That's great for Tobias because listen, he's taking that center and that inch that he's able to push towards your pin pad. That's the inch you cannot get back. The inch that allows the shoulder to come at the proper angle. Now. If you're Tobias, you're pushing back. And if Camille is fighting, then you're taking a little resistance off. If that movement happens again, and he's able to get this double foul here, it will force Camille to not be so aggressive pre-snap. Down go the hands, be ready. Sparong in red, Chabonski in blue. Whoa, that is a foul. Yeah, because you say don't move. Minutia, decision making. Camille Jablonski, we're not just getting a, a visual on the referees and what's being set up there, but we can hear that Camille is not happy at all. How much of a veteran can Tobias show me that he is? Because listen, Neil, any sort of side pressure that moves towards Tobias's pin pad will be a guilty verdict for Camille. I'm not saying that it's a good idea, but as they're setting my hand, I may push towards that referee just a little Here bit. We go down, come the hands. Watch for that explosive. That was not, I think that's harsh. That looked like, oh, that's harsh. That did not look bad. However, if you think about what's needed 
it's listen this is a great this is two matches that tobias has wins on and that strap has not been brought out yet absolute veteran moment and listen camille has every right he's like listen i understand but that's a little nitpicky there hey you're not kidding like that looked go. like tobias was look watch the wrist or maybe it was oh that is close that looked pretty sharp that's a hard call there and the sad part about that is that match was headed to the strap it was they let that go which yeah. for camille is even more of a daunting thinking that you have that type of control well when you looked at it there it looked like the hands came off when he hit the goal so i don't know but these are the fine margins that exact themselves on results day and right now look you said a moment ago mate beautifully put veteran moment for that young man from sweden he's showing maturity beyond his years at the arm wrestling table he is as calm as a mill pond not a breath of panic not a breath of concern same can't be said for the golden dragon a little bit of a toweling down and we and did see a round one win with camille in this strap but we didn't see it on the bad side of the strap we didn't get there if you note round two when they're in the same position they're about to be in camille is on the bad side they weren't they were small well listen tobias made he made sure that uh that that thing didn't hit the strap but if you add it all up you still don't know there's a chance that Sprong can be successful even in the strap if applied on this side of the table and have that buckle there on the back of Camille's hand. This is a great place for the Sweden to be. After round one, no one would envision the two straight wins and no strap applied. This is a great place. He's got the referee on his side. A lot of panic could be setting in for Camille. And the last time they were here, he didn't allow the strap to be applied. He looks like his posture's leaning forward, Neil. This thing may never see the straps again today. Well, he's got Camille boxed in there. If you look at Camille's elbow, he's so far to the edge of the pad that he's really got nowhere to go and if he can't rush forward quickly enough to get that strap applied then it's going to be a very bad day for him and to be a Sperong perhaps his biggest most dangerous weapon is that speed that explosivity he does it so well and he, as I said earlier he told us he was going to show off more tonight he was going to show that technical range that he has and to be fair to the man he certainly did that to get the second win i think he got away with one on the third but you pay your money you take your chance and we've all been there right now jablonski needs something and he needs it now definitely needs to see that strap again before this match is over he's gonna get it there if not he a is pin. going to get it if he doesn't pin him he wow. has pin oh my word that man is so strong when he ain't wow when that shoulder is engaged that is ridiculous ridiculously strong and he goes back to the good side now travis and there's a level of strength neil that's required in order to pin someone in that position in the strap the level of strength that is required out of the strap is absolutely amazing the grip strength from a compromised wrist is a wonder of the world to guys like me that human being there he's got it how close is this match two outstanding athletes here in istanbul we spoke about this and I, I did call it before the start of the match these guys could be extremely close in level if they get their position it will be dominant 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 whoever lands first where they want to be will finish this match and we've seen it play out on evidence today they're so polar opposite in terms of the technical approach to the match but that was in the impressive. story yeah and the story starts with with um with with the swede trying his best to get out of the match right get into the strap understanding having a ton of respect for the young man then he realizes after he feels the straps that it may be better to attack him out of the strap is super successful with his grip comes back in round three now gets a gets the big guy a little panicked and trying to get to the fouls is able to win one with the controversial foul out now we go to round four 
you stay in there nice and tight trying to take advantage of all the things outside of the strap and the big man's able to push down round five we have to see the straps again Here i cannot we go. imagine that spurlong has the confidence to not put a little weight on that tricep fall back and eventually slip out this is it the ready money round whoa that's being given oh it's a foul thank god there mild panic attack that would have been an interesting way to end this thing an absolute flash pin from tobias i didn't think he'd given it at first but he, yeah there's the foul and bristol on it as well can't really see it from our angle on the monitor there no i couldn't see the elbow at all i think he's just given us a jump start and it looked way quick from where we were, but we couldn't see the elbow. Not sure what he gave it for jump start or elbow, but either way, it was quick. And you can feel the tension go up a few gears now because this is the decider. Yeah, the match could go absolutely either way right now. We feel like the power, the pinning power, is a little more in favor of Camille, yet the angles and leverage, we've seen times where he sets little resistance if the angle is met correctly. No margin for error now. Camille Jablonski, Golden Dragon, and the blue shirt from Poland. His opponent is Tobias Spavon of Sweden. That's the line, the red. Both these guys, true rising stars of the left hand, be ready. The thumbs will be wrapped, then the referees will close their hands and watch for that massive explosion on the start from both these men. Last chance saloon here in the super heavyweight division of east versus west 12. down comes the hand of Speron. jablonski pulled for the shoulder both are receiving okay. warnings or fouls on these things that was they a foul i believe there the lights. cannot afford wait we're in the referee's grip Not there now jablonski needs to be careful does not want to sacrifice this one because if he can commit and get his timing right the power is clearly evident for the pole he's got unbelievable momentum he didn't need the strap when he engaged that shoulder and that was truly impressive down come the thumbs the hands will follow this time camille will be the last to have the fingers closed that may assist him with the timing on the way we go massive drive and this one could end up in the straps it's an enormous explosive drive to the side couldn't come in any harder there the swede but it goes into the straps and a roar comes out of the golden dragon because he feels that will change the game wow travis pageant it's yeah. on excellent display of arm wrestling for both human beings both utilizing their strengths to their best and i'll tell you i mean that that's an outstanding job here. Let's see if the straps matter that much with the technique. If, you're, if you've been watching what I'm watching, it's still you imagine if we can get the match started, Camille does have a slight advantage. That's just because we can't imagine that the connection could be that unfair, not unfair, but that dominated once the strap is applied and that Camille will have a bit of a better purchase because even with a bad purchase he was in the game what a match both men selling it hard on that last pin there and I'll tell you what if you're looking for commitment look no further than this one because both men went hard there was nothing left there to be a sparong diving on that top roll attack really trying to rotate the arm around to get the golden dragon outside of that shoulder but no change there and the pole stayed strong and now the strap will be applied with Jablonski on the good side of the strap welcome to east versus west 12 brought to you by esn in association with the beard struggle with gold star coffee right here in pendic turkey the man in the blue shirt is from poland camille jablonski he started well and was then pegged back but we're in the referee's grip and camille not really comfortable there just asking for a lot of clarity from the referees 
we've got the center down come the thumbs be ready this one will ignite as soon as that hand comes down it will be sparong to close last do not blink on the way we go elbow foul there from jablonski driven off the side you got enough drama or what ridiculous we will go back into the referee's grip and you can see our vips just on the left of the shot a moment ago there one guy had no nails left chewed them off here we go into the strap how is this match gonna end there's no reason to think there's a 50 50 chance it ends in fouls no doubt about it and having a hand. real hard time to keep control of the start whoa whoa that was that was on tobias surely it cannot get any more that, that's the second warning this round for tobias right so that's got to be one foul i think that was a foul in the ref grip there so we can feel the tension from the commentary booth he's killing me tell you what who would want to be one of these men up there right now lion pride there sat just behind look at them all in the lion pride shirts loving it the golden dragon camille jablonski been on a meteoric rise this man 2024 has been a fantastic year a couple of super match wins of real significance and here he finds himself in an absolutely tremendous super heavyweight battle at east versus west 12. brought to you by esm we're in the strap we're in the referee's grip You can see the tension etched all over the face of the VIPs watching this thing. Never mind the two men at the table. Tobias Sperong of Sweden in the red shirt. His opponent, Camille. Straight. The Golden Dragon. Straight. Jablonski of Poland. 2-2 two, two the score. Deciding round here. I don't know. Jablonski has to be careful, Neil. One small infraction here, and this match is over here. And someone that has only been pinned one time out of the strap when he clearly didn't get a good, comfortable start. After that, you have two clear pins, yet one foul away from losing this match. Three Thumbs are down. Jablonski goes first. Watch now as this closes. Be ready. On the way we go! Pavu! The Golden Dragon, Jablonski, drives forward with the shoulder delight from his wife in his corner there. And from Kalina. Kalinachenko work in the corner yeah. of the ball and you can see yeah. the delight on the massive figure of the Golden Dragon, Kamil Jablonski. Explosivity, a master class. Can anybody stop the shoulder of that man, Travis Bajan? And it's funny, too, because the human being that you'll probably attempt to do it, he may not have the skill, the expertise, the angles that Tobias does have. So just know, if you don't attack this man with some technical prowess, I got a feeling that the horsepower trying to match it could be a real problem for future heavyweights. Ladies and gentlemen, make no mistake about it. There is a left-handed super heavyweight. His name is Camille Jablonski, and he's got a vicious tricep press, and he is committed more than ever to the sport of arm wrestling. Expect to see this giant back. I wouldn't be surprised if he crosses paths with the beast here coming soon. Camille Jablonski is the real deal. And let's not mistaken, Tobias did an outstanding job of trying to force the super heavyweight out of that press angle. But in the end, it was clear that the commitment and the power of the Polak was very evident. Camille Jablonski headed down to Coach Ray. Let's hear from the big man. I'm with your winner, Kamil Jablonski. Crazy support.
from the audience. What a big win for you. How do you feel now? I feel I am broken. <laughs> Tobias was crazy strong. So I am so happy I done it. It really was difficult, really difficult. First, two, first few rounds look like a chess match. Whoever starts first gets the pin. When the match slowed down, you showed that your press is on a different level. You wanted to beat someone who's considered top five. He's done. What's next for you? Uh, you know, I was thinking the good opponent for me could be Vitali, a uh, top role guy. But now I'm not sure if I don't need to train a bit more because crazy level, crazy. Well, we're definitely going to see more of you. You just made a big, big, big splash in a super heavyweight left arm. Kamil Jablonski, one more time.